do. We have the mill there with the, the motors hooked up. It's a Y motor, there's the X motor, and a nice piece of wood be sacrificed. Uh, we're not quite in the center, but we'll get in the center. Uh, it's Mach 3 running. We're gonna cut a circular pocket uh, for this piece of strap here. Uh, I just measured it and left uh, maybe 5,000 uh, uh, clearance uh, just so it's not too tight. I'm using a 516 mil and uh, the depth, I'm gonna measure it again, I can't remember. Uh, we're gonna post the code. Exit. Uh, the Z on this machine is still manually, so here's the code. You can see the code right there. And you might be able to see all the different functions, all the different things that the mill is gonna do when it cuts. Uh, let's see. What was the measurement of this? So, as I was saying, we're going to do the Z axis vertically, and uh, we're going to have to pick up our zero position. Reset. Reset our DRO here, and we're going to run the mill. Go down to about 235, 233, something like that. Well, we're setting. Oh, you can leave that right there. We're gonna run the code off the mill here, and uh, we're gonna run a vacuum so that that dust doesn't go into all of the all of the mechanics of the mill. So we're gonna start that. All right, program is running. That's all it took. Uh, it's looking pretty good. A little bit of uh, stuff here. We're gonna clean it up. Just some sandpaper. Just to clean up the edge a little bit. And we're gonna vacuum it again. If this fits, it's a little bit tight. And let's see if we can persuade it. Inside the slots. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. 
especially for the first cut. Close it. 